Okay, so we've been having some problems recently with our uh, filter system. We've got a, a, a dual filter system that uh, uses both bandpass filters and uh, stub filters for the high power filtering. And uh, to switch those in, we use two six pack switches with the uh, stubs connected in between so that we can share the one set of stubs between two. Um, to uh, separate stations and uh, just recently we've been having problems where uh, it, it appears not to switch in uh, the stubs properly so uh, it's notoriously difficult to uh, debug uh, a complex switching network because it's difficult to see exactly what's going on uh, so I thought I'd just do a quick video showing the uh, the test rig that uh, that I'll put together in order to uh, to debug the switching uh, what we've got is uh, just on the end of a PL259 is an LED and a, a resistor um, on uh, on each of the uh, PL259s, and all we're doing is uh, through the uh, the inputs of both radio A and radio B uh, is just injecting five volts from the uh, the bench power supply up there, uh, and then as we switch the uh, the bandpass filters here, uh, we can see that uh, it switches in the relays uh, on the. Uh, six pack switches and uh, we can see exactly what uh, what outputs are, are switched in at any given time uh, the six packs are controlled uh, from some relay drivers that are built into the uh, into the bandpass filters and uh, we've been getting these problems anyway if I try and demonstrate what's going on here if I switch them in slowly and it never does it when you want to on video we can see there that uh, the bottom uh, LED on the input uh, six-pack switch is on, uh, but the bottom LED on the output six-pack switch is off. And um, uh, it's either a mechanical fault or um, not enough current to activate the relays properly, because if we let's give it a tap on the side, uh, the relay then switches into place. It doesn't seem to favour any particular relay, so uh, I suspect that it's uh, electrical rather than mechanical, um, and uh, perhaps the, uh, the the relay drivers in the bandpass filters aren't providing quite enough current, especially over the length of cable that we use for the control lines, in order to uh, switch the relay in properly. So we might need to build a, a box just to uh, to sort that out. It's so worth mentioning that uh, if you decide you uh, want to build a, a similar sort of test harness uh, to this you need to make absolutely sure that at no point the inputs where you're, you're feeding the uh, the voltage to supply the uh, the LEDs uh, get switched to ground otherwise um, <laughs> you, you're going to have a short on your uh, on your hands with your power supply okay that's it for now thanks